Hi year one and year two, it's Miss Love and I'm here to help you with your maths this week. We're thinking about addition. Now this is the addition symbol, but you also might have heard it being called an add, plus, more, and, or together. And we're going to be thinking about addition today and how we can solve addition sentences and how we can solve word problems. Let's have a look at what you might need to help you with your maths this week. So for this week's maths, I've created two 10 frames and I've cut up some little bits of paper to use as counters. I also have some pieces of paper that I can write my number sentences on. So first, let's look at adding two quantities together using the tens frame. Let's have a look at our first number sentence. 13 add 2. Thank you, Belle. So when we're adding two quantities together, it's always best to start with the largest amount. So in this one, that would be 13. Let's count 13 all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So as you can see, we have one 10 and three ones, 13. So now we need to add on two more. So I'm going to pick a different colour now to count my second quantity. One, two. So all together we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 13 add 2 is 15. Let's write the answer. So 13 add 2 equals 15. Let's try another. Ooh. 4 add 11. Thank you, Belle. So again, we've got to look at the two amounts and pick the largest amount to start with when we're doing an addition problem. So the largest amount is 11. So let's count 11 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we have to add the other amount. So we've got 11 and now we're going to count on 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we can see that we've got 11 and 4, so let's count them all together. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we now know that 4 add 11 is the same as 15, and it doesn't matter which way around we put the numbers, we always start with the largest amount in addition. Now, once you understand how to add two numbers together, you can start to solve some word problems. So let's have a go together. So let's have a look at our first word problem. Jen has three sweets. Leon has seven sweets. How many sweets do they have all together? So let's have a look. What special things can we see in this word problem? I can see the number three, because Jen has three sweets, so I'm going to underline that. I can also see the number seven, because Leon has seven sweets. And then wanting to find out how many they have all together. And like I said at the beginning, all together is another way of saying we're going to add things together. So let's start with the largest amount, which is the number seven. So one, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven. Then we need to use the other number. So Jen has three sweets, so let's add Jen's three sweets. One, two, three. So there's Leon's seven sweets and there's also Jen's three sweets. So now we need to count them all together. Now I can see that the 10 frame is full. So we know that there's 10 sweets there all together because it's full. So now we can write that as a number sentence, just to check. So three add seven equals 10. Oh look, that's a number bond. So we can switch that round as well to seven add three equals 10. Well done if you already got that right. Should we have a go at another one? Okay, so there are six birds in a tree and seven birds in the next tree. How many birds are there all together? So let's underline those key numbers so we know there are six birds in one tree and seven in the other. And again, it's asking us that keyword all together. So let's count the largest amount first. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the seven birds. And because it's all together, we now need to add the next lot. So six, let's choose another color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then what we've got to do is count them all together. So again, I can see one 10 frame is full and then we need to count the rest. So 10, 11, 12, 13. Six add seven is 13. Okay, so challenge time. What I've done here is I've put some number sentences for you to try and answer. Time yourself to see how long it takes or just try to do a couple a day. So pause the video here and see if you can solve them using a tens frame. And here are some word problems for you to try and solve. If they're a bit small, ask an adult to write them out for you. Don't forget, you need to be trying to practice your number bonds every day on the Numbots app. And year two, you also need to be practicing your times tables on the TT Rockstars app. If you don't have your login yet, you can email your teachers at one homework or two homework at newbie.bradford.sch.uk.